All right, guys. Um, today we're going to show you how to spray trim with an airless sprayer. The sprayer's way over there. It's an airless sprayer. It's not a cheap one that you would get at a store that you would think to buy one at. A decent airless sprayer costs at least $700 plus dollars. The one I'm using is right around $700. Um, that's a whole nother video, but for today, I'm going to show you how to spray on the trim paint. So, first of all, I'm using a fine tip. This blue housing here is an indicator for a fine tip because it takes the green tips so that your spray is more fine. Blue housing, green uh, insert. And these just go like this. You take them out, you put them back in, and his little arrow pointing forward. And then there's this direction. If it ever gets clogged, you can put it, turn it this way and, and shoot the booger out and put it back. So there's that. And then people ask me, Shannon, how do you get it to look like glass? It's like, well, that's the paint, really. It applicating helps, but that that's the actual paint. Back in the day, they'd use oil base, but we try to be a little more environmental friendly now, so we don't use oil base. They make a latex water-based trim paint that you can buy at Sherwin Williams, and it's a little pricier, but one, two gallons. You spend about 50 some bucks a gallon gets you a long way. So <clears throat> I use a, a, a paint called Pro Classic from Sherwin Williams. It's made for trim, made for spraying, and it just when you when you apply it, it kind of like flows like water and levels out as it cures, and then it just looks like glass. But you can really mess up spraying really quick so I'm just gonna do a couple of passes here and then I'll explain what I did and the first thing I'm gonna do is put my respirator on an actual respirator because these paint particles in the air can be pretty gnarly and you don't want to inhale them Okay, so if the camera can come in a little bit, you can see it's hard to tell the the camera doesn't do it much justice, but the spray may look a little ripply at first. And as long as the paint is all connected together and it doesn't have like little spots where you can see in between that looks kind of like rough co concrete then you know it's gonna flow. It's gonna lay down and flow. So the regulator on the sprayer is set about halfway because you don't wanna have it up too high. For one, you have a fine tip and the, the PSI on those airless sprayers, are, they can pump. And that tip, you can actually inject yourself if you have your hand too close. Um, you don't wanna have it up too high because you have a fine tip so you're not pushing a lot of material and the fine tip 
um, makes the uh, the trim paint particles come out a little more well a lot more fine so that as you find the speed that you need to move you just get used to and you test it on something you know you just get used to okay when I spray at this speed I know that I'm laying an even surface of paint um, and that takes experience it just takes a little bit of practice getting used to um, you can turn them way up and go faster but when you turn them way up it's just it's kind of hard on the machine and the paint shoots so fast that it just like you know does more damage than good so you you find your regulator about halfway you find what speed you have to move at the different tips have different spray angles i use about a medium because i have some bigger trim here that i'm trying to get you know once one swipe another thing is when you're spraying you always want to be moving so if i'm going to start here at the end i don't pull the trigger and then get going because if i pull the trigger while stationary in a split second the paint will build up like that it'll be and it just start dripping and then you like ruined it you've got to like start you got to wipe it off right away start all over it's just a mess so you always want to be moving as you hit the trigger so if i have this spray then i want to spray this vertical part i'm already in motion and then i go psh, hit the trigger and then release while in motion you always want that thing moving so that you don't accumulate too much paint in one area uh, especially in a vertical surface where it can run a lot easier so anyways sprayers take a little bit of experience to get used to if you're brand new to painting and you want to buy an airless sprayer and paint your house I don't recommend it. I really, really don't hire a professional. Um, if you're someone who wants to learn how to spray paint for a trade, or maybe you feel like you're handy enough, then there you go. That's a little bit of bit I can get you about spraying trim real quick. The paint, you want to have good paint. You also want to prep your surfaces really well. Putty the holes, caulk, sand the, the, the holes with 220 sandpaper, get it nice and smooth. And then, you know, use your good paint, set your sprayer up, and then always be moving when you spray. Practice on a board. Um, if it just seems like it's coming out too fast, turn it down. Don't be afraid to start slower. Uh, there is too slow. However, you'll figure that out. Thanks a lot, guys. Hope that helps.